I like to think of myself as an independent with uh, leftist tendencies, <laughs> but uh, I guess politically generally liberal, and I'm more aware of, um, I guess, the social, like, how, how things are. Like, I actually try to read the newspaper, I try to keep up with current events, see what's going on, how it affects me, and I really start to, I guess, it's a really cliche way to put this, but I become more aware of the world, and I start to see, you know, how, how things are. Now I've been involved after taking the class. At first I didn't really care much, but now I do. Well, I think I'm starting to just look deeper into it. Like, why would someone do this? Not just, oh, this, this is the way it is. This is a narrative, counter narrative, but why? Why is it this way? Either you're gonna take it or you're just gonna let it go away. Like, I don't know. Like, I think that's the one thing that's always stuck in my head. Either you're gonna do what you want to or you're just gonna let it go by and just because you only got one life to live and whatever you do now is gonna affect you later. And it's all about how do you want it to be in the end. When we had Rosenberg, our law teacher, he actually taught us about, you know, like laws regarding like driving and stuff, and I actually used that. And like, he taught us how to, uh, like, properly approach the law or say if you get pulled around by a cop while driving or getting a ticket, how to handle that and how to deal with that. Yeah. The thing that I like the most, like I think about and talk about a lot is like the rights we have and like my whole family, they're all, they don't really care that I'm like interested in law, they want me to become a nurse. So every time I tell them something they don't know about the law, they're actually like, oh, okay, that makes sense. That's actually, that might be worth something one day or like I tell them useful things and that's why I like to think about and talk about law stuff because they're really like oblivious to it and they don't really care until I try to make it like relate to them, so yeah. Um, Cardi would always teach like the counter narratives and how we would relate to um, like more, more relate to more of us, right? Working class folks and all that. I guess it really applies more because I'm always at the center and so it's, I remember one time how he said like he'd like for us to use what we learned in class outside. And so I guess that's one way where it, it uh, um, yeah, just helping out the community, I guess, and trying to make things more equitable and try to assess and figure out some solutions for problems. If you're not gonna try, then you can't achieve what you wanna get, like in graduating here. Yeah, he'll tell me like, my grade down here black, I gotta do the work to further my, uh, my progress. I said, now I do my work, and when I do my work, it acknowledge me on that. So, that's a good one. I think it was the male supremacy. That one really stuck with me because, like, the things that they talked about are things that I dealt with before. And some things, like, I didn't even see it as male supremacy until now. And because it applies to me daily, and it just really stuck with me. I think law helps bring a more community-based view to it. Cause like when they put law into our classes, this sort of helps connect it to like the community and stuff like that. I, I have to say, probably when we talked about hegemony, um, we watched The Matrix, and like our teacher uh, broke it down deeper, and it kind of like reflected our society today, like with all the propaganda and stuff like that. Like it, made, it pointed it out to me, so whenever I see that type of stuff, like uh, I think like more into it than just what's presented. Ideological hegemony, cause that's a trip. Like you know how people think and stuff, and how like social norms and all that stuff. I don't know. That's just scary. Sometimes it's scary, but it makes sense. Like it makes a lot of sense to me now. The law changed me. Was like I used to think that I could. Oh, I gotta buy this and buy that. But then really it's like not really good because like it's, it doesn't help the economy too much when you spend too much. I think one of the main, one of the really like awesome things is a quote from Concordia. Like he has really these awesome quotes. Um, Just follow the recipe and you'll bake the cake. Um, I think that's a lesson that everyone should have. Like it's essential to life. You have to be organized. You have to follow these steps. and. Eventually, you'll get everything done, and you'll be really successful. I think there's more community involvement 
just because like we tried doing that with the District 12 forum, which was really good. But as far as just getting the community involved and aware of what's important, um, otherwise it's been pretty good so far. Add like more like activities that we could do in class or like on field trips. Give us more trips that like relate to what we're gonna learn, so we get like a first-hand experience instead of like learning it from the book, because the book only gives you like one narration of something, and you don't get the first-hand experience of it. Well, what I noticed was that um, in the other classes, it's not as law-heavy. Uh, it's mostly just in the pre-law class, and uh, yeah, that that's the only time we actually talk about the law. Other than that, you know, Concordia's class and Wilcox's class, it's not you know as law related, but you know, but the law teachers are the best teachers of the entire school. There's no arguing that other pathways agree with that too. Pretty like good, but I think they can add more about like, just like incorporating more of the law stuff into the internship. Like I just had to do office work and stuff. Like it would be fun if we got to go to like depositions or something and we got to sit in on those. But, yeah. Maybe they should uh, try to have more application of what we learn in our everyday lives. I would say to have more hands-on projects, um, like field trips, or uh, not just book work. You know, a lot, a lot of, or for me, a lot of stuff I learn better when I actually do activities. So I think a lot of more hands-on and uh, just speaking, getting interactive with group and groups and other students or even outside organizations or whatever, it would be a lot better. Mostly just didn't dramatic change from leaving high school and just going out there. That I wouldn't get to where I want to be like me, a good person, a bad person. Like I'm not going to be successful in life. What's the real outside world? Yeah. Because like right now everything is kind of provided for us. If you're low, you stay low. You know? If you stay if you're at risk, you stay risk. And I think that's the under basic understanding. You know, I'm just gonna say where I'm at. Our government. Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of people in this world they haven't controlled by like former imperialists. You know, I could like actually defend. I can. I have a voice. You know, for myself, you know, I could, I could really defend myself as well. But then again, you know, I know when to quiet down and I know when to talk and speak up. So, yeah. What majors I want to be? So I don't think I really want to do law, law. But maybe later. Uh, going to new school, you know, when you're, when you're a new person in new school, it's like, oh, where do I go? It's like, oh, should I ask this person? It's like, oh, I don't know where to go. On me, I'm about to bang over to San Francisco State, get my get my uh, my four year degree, my bachelor's degree, get a teaching credential, then try and flip over to a business school over at Cal Berkeley, and then maybe see if I can get in some law school so I can get paid for being smart. Yeah, you know I mean. Well, my goal is to like accomplish and get as much knowledge as I can right now, and then as going into college, go from there. Right now, I'm just going to college. What do you want to say? Uh, I'm not sure. Just maybe, maybe look at a few ways, like maybe learn to play the science or maybe a little hobby line, just look at computer science. I'm trying to go to college. What do you want to study? I'm not sure about specifics yet, but somewhere in the humanities or English literature or something like that. I plan to um, go to college, you know, major in history, minor in music, because I play the bass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. And, uh, I plan on going to a two-year college, transferring to a four-year college. I'm not sure what I want to major in, but yeah. I'm trying to go to a culinary school, but uh, if not, then I guess it. Well, I have, I think there's two options to either start working or go to college, but I decided to go to college. Yeah.